Hello and welcome to our presentation. GCSE English is a compulsory subject for all students, but we aim to give you a little bit more information about the experience students have as they embark on their GCSE journey with us. Firstly, we are a department of 10 teachers, many of whom have additional responsibilities across the academy. We have specialisms in English literature, linguistics, media studies and drama. So the structure of the course. Students are awarded two separate GCSEs in English, one for English language and one for English literature at the end of their three year course. In year nine, although there is some study of GCSE text, our focus is very much on developing a love of literature and an understanding of the chronology and context of their literary heritage. Whilst in year 10 and 11, students will have a separate English language and literature teacher, indicated by the A for literature and the B um, that you can see on the screen there. In year nine, students will generally be taught by one teacher. We still aim to cover the same content, but students develop knowledge and understandings in, this, in both areas. Although you can see that students do study some GCSE texts and in spectacles and Romeo and Juliet in year nine, we look at these texts closely in terms of their genres. So we explore detective fiction and Shakespearean tragedy, aiming to ignite a love and interest in the stories through a deep understanding of the context in which they were produced and received. In year nine, we also endeavour to continue to develop the depth and breadth of student knowledge and skills through a study of a wide range of literature. You can see they all start with a study of viewpoints and perspectives at the start of the year. And here, students look at both poetry and prose writing, developing their skills of empathy, understanding how and why writers create voices within both fiction and non-fiction texts. Similarly, later on in the year, we have a classic text unit, which aims to develop debating and discussion skills, making sure that, again, students have a good understanding of British literary history. Outlined here, you can see the course content for the AQA English Language and Literature courses that our students follow. Parents often ask what text students will study, as they can, this can vary between schools. Here at SMA, we study Shakespeare, Rome, Romeo and Juliet, we study Jekyll and Hyde, or A Christmas Carol for the 19th century novel. Students will do one or the other, depending on which their teacher um, is most passionate about, really. Um, we study in Inspectacles, Modern Drama, and we do the AQA Poetry Anthology, focusing on the Power and Conflict cluster. We provide all of these texts for students, so there's no need to buy them, but we do encourage students to purchase study guides in Year 10 and 11, which can be found in bookstores or online. In terms of the skills studied and developed, you can see we've taken here from the national curriculum and the GCSE specifications, what forms the base of our curriculum, and I've highlighted the key um, areas involved there. Ultimately, our aim is to produce confident, skillful readers, writers, and speakers, not just for their academic success, but most importantly, so that they are excellent communicators for the 21st century world that they will inhabit. The course is assessed with two exams in each GCSE. So you can see there on the screen the two English papers for English language. Students also take a spoken language endorsement. In addition to this, a small presentation um, which they conduct in class and English literature the same, two examinations at the end of their course. I'd like to finish just by showing you a couple of examples of year nine work completed in the autumn term this year. And I think it really captures our ethos as a department, creativity and critical thinking at the heart of what we do. If you do have any further questions or would like some more information, my name is Miss Seaton and I'm head of English here. So please don't hesitate to contact school reception and I'll do my best to help. Thank you for listening. Bye bye.